We we vision when we see these two fighters, but it's uh, it's entertaining. It's entertaining in that Roy can't seem to do much with Mike. Roy try, you know, tries to tie him up and tries to pot shot him, but he hasn't been real successful at it. When Mike starts moving like this, you know that he means business. There's a hard low blow by Mike Tyson, and the ref, uh, Ray Corona, says, keep it up, Mike, keep it up. <laughs> So wait, Mike, uh, uh, one thing we haven't seen is, remember when he used to, like, bend at the knees and come up with a big uppercut? We haven't seen that tonight. Roy comes in, and immediately they tie each other up again. And remember, that's by design. That's how you chew up seconds. That's a jab by Roy, but uh, very little effectiveness to that because it doesn't keep Mike Tyson off it. Mike seems satisfied to be on the inside and just pound away at the body of Roy Jones. Roy has been sucking wind since the uh, opening bell, and Mike really started breathing heavy after the last round. I don't know what that's indicative of, but uh, both guys are working as hard as they can at their respective ages yeah. right now. They look incredible, man. They're 54, 51, or whatever. Famous, and we get one last Shit. look at them. Mike Tyson. It's great. Years ago was an absolute terror. It was exciting every fight that I called, and I called almost all of his fights and most of Roy Jones's fights as well. And I was thrilled. I got goosebumps every time they stepped into the ring. And you know, with this fight, with the anticipation leading up to this fight, I was getting excited again just to be here and be involved with this. Coming up to the time belt, in round number six. And the least action of the fight so far, but these guys are getting fatigued now. I still give